So a game that has been on my radar for a while has been Weathering Waves. And a closed beta 2 has uh, is about to start or has already started. And they released a new trailer for it called Awakening a World Reborn. Um, essentially, Weathering Waves is basically what hardcore Genshin players have been wanting. Basically, it's a gotcha game with more hardcore gameplay, action, RPG kind, kind of uh, gameplay, kind of giving off that Souls-like vibes. I've been interested in it. I've been bouncing between wanting to play it and kind of not, not wanting to play it just because the gameplay looks so good. Um, I think it's kind of lacking, in my opinion, character design-wise, and their color palette of choice isn't as vibrant as Genshin, um, at least from stuff they've shown us so far, but I think they kind of just really focus on the gameplay, which has still gotten me interested. And so let's take a look at close this uh, tr new trailer. You can also sign up for closed beta, the second closed beta if you want to, if you're interested, but outside of that, let's take a look at this. Good old games. I mean, oof. well, you're starting with a good angle to start things off with, but let's see. I mean, you can see right off the bat, the ch color choice colors aren't super vibrant outside of their hair and some of their clothing, but outside of that, it is a pretty plain color palette. I take that back. This is very pretty. This is very, very pretty, but... From stuff they've shown previously, it, it's not as vibrant, except for this. This has good lighting. And the stars as well? What? Okay. Okay, I'm looking forward. Okay. Okay, this is an improvement. I think they chose this color, generally the color cell, because it is a darker story, story-wise, but... Whoa! Look at that Sakura tree! That looks so pretty! They look like lit up pink clouds. Okay. Okay. Actually looking very good environmentally. Environments are looking really good. Oh, desert area. This looks like a really big world as well. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. They always look like enemies. That smile though. She looks like an enemy as well. I'm sorry, what? Okay. I think I think there has been like a lot of people just into like villainous characters because they just hit differently and this guy that smile is gonna get people. I know it. And her mysterious evil woman with the eye patch controls things. Ain't no way. Also also we get a better close up of that smile. I know there are people. I know there are people that are into this. Only question is, is he going to be playable? <laughs> or do we just fight him? Wait, does he transform into this thing? It's the same color palette. That's actually- Oh, it is him. He transforms into that monster? That demonic monster? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's over. Oop, hello. Oh, cute. Okay, these are very interesting character designs. Wait, 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 We got, we got, okay, so Genshin Impact has got gumming. Genshin Impact has gumming. But Weathering Waves has white gumming, but is actually like a lion girl that punches. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of into her more. White tiger dragon thing? That's actually kind of cool. Gameplay far more fast paced and more action packed, which is one of the reasons why I'm very interested into this into the game. If I and if this game ends up being really good and I end up really liking it, I might I might Genshin Impact might turn into a passive game for me. Not gonna lie, because look at motorcycles. You can't go can't go wrong with this. Hello. 
I'm... Wait, you're really showing a lot of cutscenes with her. Hello? She looks like a lot of fun, though. Mr. Dragon Boy? There we go. Oh, hello? Wait, who is she? Who is she? The one thing that's like a little bit... I, I mean, I guess kind of concerned. Oh, hell, okay, she's pretty. Um, okay, if there's anything that's... If there's anything that's actually concerning... I haven't seen heard any voices. No no voice acting. I don't know if there was voice acting in any previous trailers off the top of my head or in the closed beta one. I don't remember. I think there was, but I'm not 100 percent sure on that. But we haven't seen any we haven't heard any voice acting, which is uh an interesting choice. Um that being said, wow, what an impressive trailer. Um I wouldn't mind getting into closed beta too, honestly. Honestly, I mean, even though it's happening during Lantern Rite, count me in if I get into that. I've already signed up. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in this, there is a closed beta that's starting soon, if not if it hasn't started already by the time this is released. I, I would love to be part of the uh, closed beta. I would play the heck out of that.